I am a law professor here at Diablo Valley College. I also am an attorney and I specialize in intellectual property and business law. Our firm, Interatorium Petron, helped sponsor the event. And uh, we want to just thank everybody for being here. You all are amazing. We uh, thank our judges, we thank the university, we thank um, everyone for taking the time out of your day to participate in the Piranha Pool Pitch Competition. So give yourselves a big round of applause for that. So uh, first I'd like to welcome President Susan Lamb here to uh, say a few opening remarks. Hi, on behalf of uh, Diablo Valley College, I'd like to welcome everyone here, both our internal community, including our students, and our external community. This is a time that we come together for the benefit of, of the college and our students. And you know, here at the college, we sometimes say, hey, we're teaching you the knowledge to take forward, to be the future leaders. But uh, you know, we teach the nuts and bolts and that background knowledge, but the more important thing is can you actually do the job? What are those skills that aren't just the knowledge you're learning, but to be successful in the job? And one of those is courage. And so each of you today are going to stand up here and have that moment where you are terrified, okay? But you will, I know, persevere. You will be the future leaders, and this is the beginning of it as you're standing up here and you're making your pitch. So I'm looking forward to each of you hearing, hearing each of your pitches as you go forward and you start that leadership of the future of our college and our community and our global community going forward. So congratulations just for being here today and thank you to our community for being really good partners with us. Thank you, President Lamb. So uh, I'd like to introduce our judges at this point. We have uh, Ms. Uh, Tina Atkins, um, I need my sheet sheet here. So okay. Tina is a lifelong resident of Concord. She and her husband own Concord Feed and Pet Supply and Brickyard Building Materials. Uh, she's an accountant and has managed multi-store uh, books for decades. Uh, more recently, her work life is spent in various regional volunteer positions through Rotary International, go Rotary. Um, and when not working, she spends her time spoiling her grandchildren. So, all right, um, next up, I'd like to introduce Angela Kalinowski. I hope I say your last name right. <laughs> I, I knew where I was warm, but okay. Um, so Angela is uh, a native to Pleasant Hill, uh, graduated from Park High School, uh, uh, College Park High School. Uh, she pursued a career in nursing and landed back in her hometown in the restaurant business. She successfully owns Back 40 Texas Barbecue, as well as Wise Girl Restaurant both amazing restaurants that I suggest you all frequent. Uh, Angela has served on the Pleasant Hill Chamber of Commerce, Board of Directors, and is currently the President, Hill, uh, or the President of Pleasant Hill Rotary Club. So Angela's true passion is her family. Together with her husband, they have a blended family of 16 children and grandchildren. And then finally, I'd like to introduce John Coughlin. Uh, John has held executive leadership positions in Asia, Europe, and North America in finance, tech, government, nonprofit, education, and real estate. Uh, he currently serves as the director of a graduate program in entrepreneurship and innovation at uh, Musagook. Is that correct? Musagook School of Management at USF. Uh, John also serves as an adjunct professor at the School of Advertising at the Academy of Art University in San Francisco and has freelance writing credits. Uh, John uh, is an uh, alumnus of the London School of Economics, Santa Clara, and UC Berkeley, and DVC. Welcome, and audience members, those of you who arrived earlier, you'll see on your seat there is a, a form or a little page that looks like this. So if you ever wanted to sit in the place of the judges and cast your own vote for the team that you thought had the most compelling business presentation, business plan presentation. With this app that you can download to your phone, you can participate with pre-money, and the 10,000 pre-money you have by loading this app onto your phone, and then as you hear each team go by, you can allocate however, you, however much you would like to the team of your choice. 
please be cognizant, of course, of what Mike was saying. You don't want to do this during the presentations and whatnot. So look for a break. Download the app onto your phone. You'll have plenty of time to do so. Maybe you want to take notes during the presentations and do this all at the end. But either way, however you choose to do this, this would be a fun little side activity to keep you all as audience members engaged in the activity as well as the judges so you can compare uh, results. Other than that, if you have any questions, try and get my attention. I'll be probably sitting up here the most of the time or right now. Because I'm in the app and I did notice there's one team that's not there that's on the sheet, so I didn't know if the team had dropped out or if they're missing. So there. If, that, if that's P twice, they have they do not indeed show. Not okay. Show. Thank so, you. Good so point. Don't, don't vote for them. <laughs> no, they won't be on the app, but they're on the agenda. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and then here's yet another opportunity to mute your phones. So you basically have them in your hands, so you can take care of that. And other than that, good luck. Again, I'll be right there if you have any questions. Chris, do, do they have a code they need? Uh, yes, it's, the code is 1290. It's on the back of the sheet. There you go. So we have this site. You can, uh, you can click the um, QR code, or you can go to the pre-app here. It's fun. I did it last year. It was a lot of fun. I won. So I couldn't take <laughs> the award, though. But you may get to invest in the only thing is most of you guys are already on teams or you're rooting for teams, so you're gonna, anyway. It's just kind of, kind of move, but, uh, okay. So here's the code, 1290. And then you you get your 100 grand. Wouldn't that be nice? You just put in code and get 100 grand. I don't know. Okay. Here's the app. We did a lot of app pictures here. All right. Okay. Presentations. So here are our presentations. We're going to start with Speakeasy, which I thought was a bar until I found out a little bit more about it. Um, then Amend, then MNK, uh, MNK Eco, Surfate, and then Protein. Um, and then um, Linda, where's Linda? She's in the front row here. She's going to give them time. And we're going to be very specific. So teams, we're going to be very specific about time. You can't go over. If you go over, we're going to stop you. Um, so I don't mean to be difficult, but those are the rules. I'm a lawyer, so I like rules. <laughs> and now let's call up um, our first team. Yeah? Could we clarify the time signals one more time? So everyone, I will raise my hand. Uh, f five means you have five minutes remaining. Four, four minutes remaining. Three, two minutes remaining. And here's one minute remaining. And hard stop. Oh. So if you're in the middle of a sentence, finish that sentence and that's it. Hard stop. Yes? Great. Thank you, Adrian. Just like forensics. Yes. Okay, come on up, guys. <laughs> 